I chose to discuss the two works from the Museum of Contemporary Art located in downtown LA. The first piece I will discuss is called Biscuits by Tala Madani. Tala Madani was born in 1981 and is an Iranian-born artist residing in LA. Her paintings and animations are powerful meditations and the potential for art to reflect the deeply seated cultural fears, conflicts, and desires of her present day. Rich in narrative and heavy in irony, they elicit curiosity, fantasy, and repulsion. Biscuits is an oil on linen 1660 by 120 inches painting created in 2021. It appears as if it is drawn on a green chalkboard with white chalk. In the center of the image is a nude male. Tiny naked people are walking into his mouth and coming out clothed and with hats on from the rear end. At the top right, there's a table with a world globe. Next to it is what appears to be two doctors operating or dissecting a person. At the bottom left and below the man is a similar figure, but what could be a child laying on its stomach with stick figures going into its mouth and question marks and explanation marks coming out of its bottom. Tala Madani makes paintings and animations whose ineligible images bring together wide-ranging modes of critique, promoting reflection on gender, political authority, and questions of who and what gets represented in art. Her slapstick humor is inseparable from violence and creation is synonymous with destruction, reflecting a complex and gut-level vision of contemporary power imbalances of all kinds. This work is culturally significant because it raises questions about our education system. From the man in the center, little figures who come out of his bottom appear as if they are wearing graduation caps and gowns. We go through an education system and come out educated on the other end. The figure below the man who looks like a child depicts that children are put through an education program that may or may not be great. We don't know how they end up after. The elements of this image fuse the meaning of the painting with what we see. The light is like the lighting of schools, bright, crisp, and clear, with chalk lines are drawn as if drawn by a young person almost scribbling in boredom. The color of the painting, green chalkboard, white chalk, and the light green where the chalk was poorly erased is universally known as a school and education kind of thing. Some more profound meaning is that as young adults going through college, most of us have a clear image of what we want, of where we want to go, while younger children do not. Most kids go through elementary and middle schools with no clear idea of where they will end up, hence the question and exclamation mark. The second piece is called Beverly Hills Suicide by Bob and Bob. The piece was created in 1976 and is pen and dry marker on Reeves paper. 26 by 40 inches. Bob and Bob are actually two different people. The light Bob, Paul Velik, and the dark Bob, Francis Chisholm. The dark Bob embraces pop culture at the same time that he parodies it. But above all else, he is a storyteller, and every facet of his visual art, live shows, his albums, and films comes together to create a narrative. The abiding subject is love and all its permutations, and a dark forces that threaten it. He speaks with an exquisite combination of the absurd and the profound, and that is the source of his genius. Together, they create numerous artistic works ranging from paintings and drawings to light works and short films. Bob and Bob set out to restore art to the ordinary American and hopefully get rich in the process. Beverly Hills Suicide is a busy piece. Many different things are happening simultaneously. It is a high-end shopping center in Beverly Hills. Women have expensive handbags and shoes. People are walking and stepping on others. A shopping mall to the right with shoppers walking by. A storefront window advertising fur, fur and suits and what is likely a makeup palette. The image does look like a narrative or a story, but of many different individuals. Additionally, some animals are scattered around a painting. The whale and the alligator have little X's as their eyes. A man wearing fur has a sign reading it only takes 12 beavers to make this coat and come see our new beaver coats the art of work is culturally significant because it speaks of the inhumane and unsustainable treatment of animals to me it says the summers people don't care where their clothing or shoes come from if it's in style and they want it they can pay for it that's all that matters killing animals for fashion is wrong 
It's unsustainable, bad for the environment and our ecosystem, and ultimately bad for us. Our planet needs animals to thrive and prosper. The lines of the image are drawn with simplicity, quickness, and possibly carelessness like scribble. Lines are thin and are only there to create the actual figures. It feels like the artist drew it like this to emphasize how the how little the people in a picture think about killing animals for fashion. The colors in the image are also simple and are there to highlight and give life to the work. There's a lot of background space which is paint off white probably to keep the focus on what is drawn. The light or possibly the absence of it says that this image is meant to be flat and is intended to tell multiple scenarios without any more distractions than what is already present.